Okay, we're good. Ready? Yep. I'm Marie. Thank you for agreeing to interview for the Heifer Cap Feed Sales position through Purina. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm currently a student at the University of Wisconsin River Falls studying in agriculture business and animal science. At school, I am currently the treasurer of the Black and Bridal Club, and I'm involved in the UWRF beef management team. Um, growing up, my mom and dad um, ran a market beef cattle operation that I grew up on. And over the years, we started getting more involved in the cow-calf production side of things. Um, that really helped spark my inspiration for showing cattle. Um, you know, growing up, I was involved in a lot of different agriculture-based organizations like 4-H, FFA, and the Wisconsin Herford Association. That really helped spark my passion for the egg industry and the cattle industry. Okay. Why do you want this job? I really think that this career path is something that I've really been, you know, passionate about. Like I said, I grew up in the cattle industry, and since this is a cattle base, you know, job position that focus on a part of the cattle industry that I'm really passionate about, you know, going through school and different classes I've taken and learning how to feed my own animals at home. I found animal nutrition, something really, you know, fascinating to me and, you know, trying to figure out what to feed my animals at home and what to even help my local partners um, and people in my local county and what they should feed their animals as a beef advocate in my own county um, is something I really found passionate about myself. Um, so I feel like this job is really going to be help something that's going to help me find a right career path for something I'm passionate about and I'm striving to go through for school. Um, and I really think that's going to be a great stepping stone for me to find and meet people in the egg industry, um, and just start my career off right. Okay. So why should we hire you? Um, like I said, growing up, I have a lot of past experiences, you know, working with beef cattle. Um, and actually, you know, growing up, you know, showing cattle, we've used a lot of Purina products in the past. Um, so having that knowledge about what the products are about and what type of products there are um, really kind of gives me a head start on understanding what is, you know, Purina all about and what do they sell. And that kind of gives me a head start on, you know, the certain aspects of you know, this job title itself. Um, and I really feel that, you know, growing up in the livestock industry, I've become a very outgoing person. I'm not afraid to go out in front of crowds and talk to people. I'm very open to public speaking. Um, I love hearing other people and their stories about their, in their certain operations and mine, you know, having those conversations. I love those interactions with other people um, and just going out and traveling and meeting people, um, going to on-farm sites, you know, I'm a really hard worker. I'm dedicated to what I do. I'm really passionate about, you know, everything in the livestock industry. So I really feel like this job is, you know, be really helpful. And I feel like I'm going to fulfill its duties well. Okay. Tell me about a time you had to deal with conflict on the job or at school. Um, so currently... I would actually use my current living situation this year at school as something that I would say is kind of a little bit more difficult for me to deal with. Um, so my living situation right now, you know, I wouldn't say is definitely the best. Me and my roommate, you know, we've had a lot of times where, you know, we don't get along at times and we, we argue sometimes we don't see eye to eye. Um, and with me being kind of a closed person, not trying to cause conflict and keeping my mind a little bit more closed and, um, know, closed mindset and not wanting to talk about my feelings, opinions, and thoughts. Um, I feel that with the situation, I've been a little bit more for forced to like open up about my thoughts and feelings and opinions and talk about them more verbally um, versus keeping them to myself, which is something that in the workforce you're going to have to do um, on an everyday life. So, and then in reaction to that kind of situation where I'm forced to talk about my things, um, or problems with other people, it caused me to kind of, you know, learn how to solve problems with our people, you know, talk about solutions and come to a solution. Um, so that's something, you know, I've had to learn to do this year and it's really helped me grow in that certain aspect of my life. And I definitely think I've grown so far from it. Okay. What are you most proud of? Something I'm really proud of is my business I started in 2015. So in when I was a freshman in high school, I started my own cow-calf operation. Um, I raised registered Hereford cattle um, 
So we have about 10 cows now. And over those years, um, we just started raising and producing cows um, and their calves. And we showed them across the state at Loco, Jackpot shows, um, you know, state fair and national shows where we go and exhibit our cattle. Um, and within that industry, I've really learned there's a lot of different aspects that, you know, come together to make a cow calf operation work. Like you got to know a lot about genetics, nutrition, you know, herd management, you know, veterinary practices. There's so much different aspects that come together that you have to know about to make the operation run. And I've had to learn a lot about that on the way and out of school studies and, you know, taking time on the side and focus mainly on my cow-calf operation. You know, over all those years, it's really seemed to be rewarding by, you know, doing well at the shows and that the research and um, talking to people in the industry that my business is growing and progressing. And having those moments where, you know, things are times or times are tough and times are good. And those times that are good are really rewarding. But the times are tough that, you know, me as an individual, I strive to push through and I kept with my herd. And we always searched for the next available op, like option to do to make things right. Um, and we just strive through those tough times. And I'm more proud of myself as a business owner for not giving up on myself and my operation and what my end goal is for my operation is that I always, you know, push through those tough times and enjoy the good times and always stuck with it. Okay. So where do you see yourself in five years from now? So in five years from now, um, I'm still hoping to be based in the animal nutrition and on the sales side of things. Um, I really would love to continue in a job field like this through Purina or even through another feed company. But I would love to you know, stay with this company because I have had a lot of past experiences working with um, Purina itself by you know using their products. And I have a well-based knowledge about them. Um, but I also like want to implant what I do at work with you know, my cow-calf operation back home um, and kind of connect those things. And I still want to like give back to my community because, you know, if it wasn't for like the people back home and getting me to strive and do what I do today, I wouldn't be the person I am today and get out there and show cattle, start my business, educate others about, you know, showing the beef cattle industry um, and even being involved at school. I just really want to give back to those people and educate the next generation of youth um, about the livestock industry, cattle in feed nutrition um, and things like that. Okay. So how do you want to improve yourself over the next year? Um, so personally, I think personal improvement is made through, you know, learning new things every day. So I personally am a strong believer that, you know, people learn things every day and it's going to happen. Um, so I'm going to take that aspect of my life and I really want to ask, like, grow in my knowledge about the cattle industry, um, different aspects of it throughout the nation and just seeing how different, you know, types of cattle are raised on different, you know, atmospheres and environments and how those things all play together into, um, you know, making feed rations that work best for a certain type of cattle. Um, so I really hope to improve my knowledge, A, about, you know, the beef cattle industry itself. Like there's so many different aspects out there that aren't just what I do at my hometown. There's so many different aspects of it and I want to go out and learn more about it. So I'm, pl I'm really hoping to get out and explore, you know, go to different ranches and talk to new um, business owners about what they do. And I really want to expand my knowledge on nutrition. You know, this is something I'm really, really passionate about. I love just, you know, going through the feed barn and just, you know, trying to understand like how to feed my animals and just seeing that progress in the end and how my animal turned out is something I'm really passionate about and I just enjoy doing. So I really want to grow my knowledge in that as well. Okay, so I've asked you a lot of questions. What questions do you have for me? So for this job position, you know, I've been told by you know, a lot of outsiders that, you know, some further education, you know, beyond bachelor, my bachelor's degree would be, you know, needed. Um, so is there anything, you know, further education like grad schools um, that would be required of me or is it necessary to get like a master's degree? We are very supportive of continuing your education, and we have a very robust tuition reimbursement program. Awesome. Do you have questions for us? 
Um, so what would be the next process in the hiring process? So we just started interviewing today and we are hoping to select our next candidates over the next week or so. Awesome. Do you have any other questions for me? I do not. Well, thank you for your time today, Marie. Thank you. Find my button.